changing uh, the way we teach and the way the students learn. learn. And so this type of project... The students where one line, one colour of wool, the blue actually, was uh, representing them, their self-identity. The red was representing the future, possible selves, how they want to become. Who's one for following sustainability? The ideas they push, and the ways and colleagues that are not so uh, keen of doing it. They will ask questions. Awakening the dot. The critical thinking is a very important phase, and in this phase they will think about what they think, what's the reality. Try to engage uh, students and to uh, increase and to improve the outcomes of uh, financial students. It's a specific case associated with the mobile unit and we try to introduce some innovative uh, methodology of um, evaluation prepared two groups uh, for this uh, student. Uh, it was interdisciplinary and uh, internationality uh, uh, groups. Uh, and the groups uh, um, must uh, prepare um, some games. Uh, to uh, integrate uh, this reality in uh, our classes. So we face uh, some challenge. I think the, the, first, uh, uh, the first one is identify and understand what are the, the changes that are taking place. Well, they need to develop more what they were doing. And this was underlying the model of auditing that we are discussing. Two important things, a diversity of methods of data collection and a diversity of actors. In order to do an audit of social responsibility in the context of universities, they should speak with a lot of people inside the universities and listen to diverse bodies of actors, not only to the rector, not only to the vice rectors, but students, professors, researchers, staff in the university should be included if you want to have a vision of what the university is doing in terms of social responsibility. Why? Because that's one of the things that all the partners from the projects have done, the construction of digital cells. And digital cells have the technology that we need to use to have a better way of teaching in our days, we all know that. And the idea <coughs> is that we can use a virtual and augmented reality. Anyways, the other thing which is very, very greatly needed is quality. And the quality is a uh, key, and I mean the quality of teaching, quality of presence of the teachers and being able to uh, give some information and consult. Experts in behavior change, and we need to do that. We need to add some knowledge. We, we need to um, improve their knowledge and uh, put them uh, thinking about how we can contribute as psychologists and uh, as health professionals um, to be key actors 
uh, to uh, do transformational uh, change to protect planet, but, but also. I'm talking about this section here where we've got several cases in several universities and this one is in the amazing and wonderful university headed of course uh, by, Ni uh, by, by Leela at the University of Foggia. And we know what bioeconomy is. You can speed read this. Your English is amazing rather than me just summarising it. The, the key, we've been talking about what are these issues that are, that are that's the currency. So this is the, the topic. for Ishka to be part of this project that crosses such interesting learning barriers as bioeconomy creative learning. It is our conviction that... We're thinking in innovation and creativity is inside because we don't have innovation if we don't have creative ideas. And uh, uh, I think it's uh, um, a good project to have uh, this, this project, to, to, the way to share good practices in, in the creative learning.